Yo, what up, LinkedIn? So I wanted to go a little bit more in depth on, you know, those ratios I was talking about and why give a little bit more, you know, reason to why I uh, am a firm believer in, you know, keep, keeping track of ratios, metrics, um, you know, in, in pretty much anything we do, right? If we have a goal, how do we achieve or how do we reach that goal? And, you know, I see a lot of times it's just, you know, let's in sales, it's like, you know, like just hustle hard, hustle hard. Listen, I'll tell you, I, I probably, I mean, people have been telling me I probably burn, I'm going to burn out sooner or later because I nonstop grinding, but I'm able to, you know, 10 X that and see results because I have a roadmap and that's coming from someone that's ADD, right? Um, I say, I keep saying that as a joke, but you know, a roadmap, what it does is, so for instance, I started my career, I needed 15 leads a week. That was, that was just a, the, the number they gave us 15 leads a week four meetings a or 15 leads a week and four new closed uh, accounts a month. So it totaled out to three leads a day, four new appointments a week, 16 total appointments a month. And what is that? 60 leads a month. So now we got the numbers. How do we get there, right? Everybody's going to be to have different ratios. So that's where it comes into you being able to, you know, count how many doors I hit, how many hours I spent. You know, I was going door to door. So it was like, okay, now I know that I need to carve out at least 25 hours to get my 15 leads. And then the rest, you know, 40 hours in a week, right? The rest of those hours are going to be spent on other things as such as, you know, maybe like, running meetings, setting meetings. But when you're first starting out in your career, it's, it's really just crucial to, to build that funnel, qualify that funnel. But knowing, you know, your day to a T, that's when you start getting really scary. Fuck what people think about, you know, hustle hard, hustle hard. I'm all about that. But have a plan. Excuse my language. But like, it, broke people think like, broke people think it's just hustle and you're going to make money. I promise you that ain't the, I make a, a lot of money and that ain't the way it goes. Have a detailed roadmap plan for whatever your goal is. And that way you can track it. Know, know your schedule, know your regimen, know it's no to a T. Think about it. When your manager says, Hey, how'd you, how'd you kill it this month? Well, you know, I was able to carve out X amount of hours for this many, uh, you know, X amount of hours just to, you know, prospect and get new leads. So my funnels, you know, my funnel was always fresh because you do know when you, you know, when you're, when you set a meeting, that lead that you had in your pipeline should come, comes out. So it's negative. It's a good thing. You set appointment, but you got to fill that, you got to fill that gap. And then, you know, or why didn't you hit your goals this month? Well, you know, listen, I, I had three setups. Um, I killed it, you know, from a number standpoint, but I, I, you know, you're right. I didn't hit my goal, but the reason behind that was, you know, typically I, I I'm doing, you know, 30 hours of cold calling for reaching out to, you know, to qualify new leads. I, that was, that was cut in half just because I had those two big setups. Okay, cool. You know why. And then, then you can go back and plan your next month. Now selling, when I say qualifying accounts, listen, I don't, you guys need to read the book gap selling. If you haven't, um, you know, I think that it goes without saying, right? Nobody, nobody's going to tell you they're sad or nobody's going to tell like in personal life, right? Nobody's going to tell you that they have a, they have challenges. Of course, everybody's happy. I mean, let's face it, unless you get the one-offs that say, Hey, listen, I'm looking for you. And that's just icing on the cake, right? You have to ask questions to keep to, you have to ask questions because they might not even know they have a challenge or they just don't want to tell you, right? So that's why I tailored the question. That's why I call because I know that these are challenges that companies have and the impact. You got to, you got to know the impact of it, right? So for instance, if sales is calling into logistic or if say, yeah, if sales calls into logistics, right? They don't have the ability to quote out. So sales has to call logistics now that, you know, and it's not even say it's not even a sale, right? So that's, that's a manual process, but let's go a little further. They call logistics, 
the process right now is, you know, they say, Hey, listen, I need you to quote out this, this shipment. I got, I got this maybe sale. And the process is, Hey, let's go on like four or five different, you know, emails or platforms to quote that out for a maybe sale. So now that's taking a ton of time up. They're diluting their buying power and the salesperson might not even get the, the sale because again, let's say it's a commodity. You dig a little further. Hey, do you ever, you ever, miss those sales? Yeah, a lot, because I don't have the ability to, you know, one, we don't have set pricing, or I just, you know, because it's such a manual process, it takes too long, and I miss the sale. So what's the impact of that missing sales and a ton of time spent doing tedious work and diluting the buying power, which is going to affect the, again, cost of shipping. So that's what you want to, that's what you're trying to uncover the impact that it's having on sales, shipping, entire organization. Three things right there. That's how you'd start becoming a resource. That's how you start really. It, that's why it's so fun to me. It's 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 just that's when you really start helping. You can't just Matt. You can't just call a company and say, "Hey, listen, are you having any challenges?" I mean, we all do it, right? You know, but start making a conscious effort to realize it's like, "Hey, everybody, <laughs> nobody's going to tell you they really have challenges unless it's that one off." So, again, focus on your metrics. Keep it simple. You got to have some type of process. I mean, we work out, right? Again, there's an extreme and then there's not. But keep it simple, but make sure that you know. It's like, hey, listen, this week I did, you know, 200 pounds, four sets of 12. Next week, I'm going to either increase the weight or I'm going to increase the reps so I can improve. Same thing with your metrics. Hey. Was able to do this this week. I'm going to do it this this week. So you know where I'm going with this. But real importantly is metrics and asking questions that allow people to answer questions that essentially explain they are, in fact, having challenges. Now, that doesn't mean they're always going to, it's going to be a big enough challenge to, you know, take a meeting or even a big enough challenge to them to even care. But again, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a start, right? Or you just keep going and asking if you want to get an RFP and all that, which again, that's working for you. Great. But I'd rather be the person that, you know, can help people out, right? Call accounting. Hey, listen, impact, right? What's think about that in your head. You're tailoring these questions. Hey, so how are you allocating bills? Quota versus, uh, we'll do, we want to be new quota versus shipping. Our quota versus build, we'll do, well, right now, um, you know, figuring out, you know, the cost. So a lot of people try to figure out the cost to serve or they'll just tack on 18, just say like 18, I've seen 18, 12, it's all over the map, but say, yeah, we just do 12% of the sale. Okay, cool. Um, so you're not paying for shipping then? No, no, we still pay. Um, we just, again, it's how'd you get to that number? Uh, we just did. Well, what's the impact of that? Not knowing the accurate cost to serve is pricing. You're, you're allocating transportation cost is off. So you're eating co more cost than you should. You don't have visibility into your key, uh, you know, cost to serve by your customers, locations and products. So you don't know exactly, you know, what's, what customers are, are, are extremely profitable, what customers are average or what customers are, are, are essentially low margin or even costing you money. And that's, that's truly impactful on the bottom line again that's the impact not knowing your cost to serve is shitty right or it, it it's not good but that's not you got to go deeper what's not good about it is the impact that it's having on the bottom line of your company right you're not able to have a idea of you know these customer by profitability and being able to pivot and figure out, hey, let's increase the low margin customers are the customers that are costing us money. How do we figure that out? That's an impact. So it's my rant for Tuesday. Hope everyone has a good one. Remember, metrics, keep it simple, but have a detailed roadmap to your objectives and ask questions that will pull out pain or challenges that you might have never known. Trust me, I got y'all. Like always, keep it real. Stop listening to the bullshit.